Andrew, at this point, how excited are you just knowing that Steph's going to be returning pretty soon and you're going to get the opportunity to, to play with him pretty soon? I'm very soon? excited. You know, I feel like everybody is. <clears throat> he's a player that single-handedly, he, he's going to come and, you know, change the way everyone plays, you know, for the better. Um, and so I'm excited. You know, he's a game changer. Defensively, um, Steve's been sliding you on ones and twos and threes, I mean, all over the floor. I mean, what do you think about your ability to guard those multiple positions? Um, I think I can guard multiple positions, you know, and especially on the point guard, just playing length and trying to, you know, just chop the offense a little bit, you know. But um, they've been giving me, you know, a lot of responsibility, and I'm just taking the head on, you know, I'm accepting the challenge, and I'm trying to be the best defender I can be, you know, for the team. Andrew, uh, when you look at uh, the Wizards' three-point numbers tonight, I think they were 20 for 30 as a team. For you guys as a team, do you think of it as, you know, they have a, had a couple of red-hot shooters and there's not much you can do, or do you think there's a lot that you guys can do to limit numbers like that? Um, there's a lot that we can do. You know, um, I feel like in that first quarter, we didn't come out, you know, ready. Um, and, you know, they did. Uh, I feel like they got a lot of early threes that way, you know, that kind of led them, you know, just, they got hot, you know, after that. Um, so, including myself, we just got to come out, you know, with the mindset and, you know, follow, you know, the defensive game plan. Andrew, on the other side, Steve was saying when he was here that um, when Steph comes back, <laughs> that it'll open things up for the offense, um, more driving and kicking and stuff like that. How much of a difference do you think that can make for guys like you who can really play off of that? Oh, it'll make a big difference, you know, especially for people that, you know, like to drive and attack the basket because Steph attracts a lot of attention. You know, he's someone that you have to watch and look at every time he's on the floor. You know, you can't sleep, you can't relax on him at all. You know, so that's going to open up the floor for everybody else. Uh, over to your left again. Honestly, uh, what's the toll of playing with – eight guys, nine guys every night, you know, after a few games, how does that start to feel for an athlete? Um, no, it is what it is. You know, I've been in this position before, you know, when I was on uh, Minnesota, you know, there's a lot of times where we'd have, you know, not a lot of players. Um, so it's not, you know, terrible. We're all young, you know, so I feel like we're not getting tired that easily. And, you know, we're just playing through everything, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in the season, but we're just fighting through, trying to finish strong. What are your thoughts on the pace that you guys are playing at, and is it different much from what it was like in Minnesota? Oh, for sure. You know, for sure. The pace of this team is, you know, just fast. You know, up and down, up and down, pushing the ball ahead. You know, so it's a little different. Andrew, you, or you mentioned playing with guys, you know, younger, not a lot of experience. Uh, Steve seemed pretty high on, on Michael Mulder after tonight. Um specifically against uh, Bradley Beal you know, after the 22-point first quarter. Say so threw him on to Bradley and kind of slowed down that, that tempo and limited him to 34 overall for the night. What did you see from Michael tonight, and how do you think he's kind of getting along on, under this 10-day contract? Um, he's been doing great, you know, on both sides of the floor. Defensively, he's getting after it. You know, he's showing everyone that he can defend, you know, multiple positions. You know, he's fast. He's, he's stronger than he looks. Um, and on offense, you know, he's shooting the ball well. You know, he's playing of confidence. He's attacking. You know, he's doing everything we need him to do. So he's he's been great. And how much of the defending the three ball on the other team? How much of it is execution, and how much of it is just effort? Because I mean, you guys are playing with guys who yeah. barely know each other in some ways. You know. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's too much effort because we're all playing hard. You know, we came out playing hard, but I just feel like we didn't follow the, you know, the game plan, you know, correctly, and you know, there was a lot of stuff we could have done better.